Hello and welcome, I'm Aruba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 7 of Let's Play the West African Pagans. So our last little offensive thing didn't didn't go so well. Uh, he sent down just 15,000 men and he's actually got uh, like 37,000. Oh no he doesn't. He did, now he's got 19. That's weird. That's really fluctuated quite, quite quickly. He's 47. I'm 43. He is... Mm, he's probably going to outlive me because he's got that... Uh, plus health from being a skilled tactician. This guy wants to be my steward, but he's just a... I'm sorry, dude. You're not a duke. This guy's a duke. I need his opinion more than I need yours. And my son's doing a good job. I'm going to lose a lot of titles when I die. But that's just what happens under Gavelkind. In order to reform, we would need to expand at least up to here, and then we could reform. We got a holy site here, here, and here. So I may have already missed the opportunity. I think it's like if you're going to expand, you got to do it within the first ten years and actually, like, take over half of the Irisid dynasty's land before this guy can get it. But you know, when he la when he dies, it's agnatic open, and uh, he's got no no dynasty, no decadence right now. He is leading troops. He's getting raided by some of the Norse Vikings. Norse Pagans. I guess maybe I should just keep harassing his, his vassals. Maybe not. I should just let him... Let's go back on speed 4 and let's just hope that he dies soon. My daughter will not be content. I want her to be brave, attractive, and murdering people. Hmm. <clears throat> His vassals, how do they feel about him? I don't care about their opinion of me, I care about their opinion of him. course, they're very stable because of the piety and prestige affecting uh, affecting the feudal commander, feudal leader. Normally, prestige affects feudal people and piety affects religious people, but for Muslims, piety and prestige give them bonuses. Notice that he's got plus 11 and plus 20. So, they if they if they get a good boost to piety and prestige early on, it's really hard to uh, to get them to not like their liege. So descents, my son. Don't get caught. Meanwhile, why are we not getting any study technology bonuses? Oh wow, look at that. My wife has 22 stewardship. It's too bad she can't be the guy. Um, it's the strap. You will not be arbitrary. Now this chief, this chief of Gurma... Uh, actually, no, this courtier... He is a much better steward. How much do you like me? Ah, oh, jeez, we'd lose quite a bit of opinion if I if I took that off. All right, fine, I'm gonna do it. How do you feel about me? Still likes me pretty well. That's fine. Research that economy tech, please. I need to stockpile money again. I'm forty. A special interest this guy, see if we can pay attention to his wars. As soon as this thing gets built again, I'm going to go loot it. So that's going to be January in 893. You want to... No, we're not going to marry matrilineally. They will marry regularly. That's that genius woman. She's a... Oh god, she's gay. Of course she is. That's actually not a bad thing. I mean, I think he'll still end up having, um... They'll end up making enough kids anyway. Regular marriage. Go ahead. Maybe we'll take the prestige. Even though money is probably more important right now. I'm still cruel. I still have that starting trait of cruel. My son, the Grand Vizier, wants a title. Oh, gee. Uh, you're going to get one eventually, so quit complaining. <clears throat> My heir is unmarried. 
Ruler is unmarried. My wife has just died. A natural death. Probably from making all those kids kill just about anybody. Well, this is a good opportunity to get some more prestige or money. Maybe. Maybe even an alliance, but nothing... Nothing serious is going to come from it. This attractive 16-year-old Suomenusko. Let's do that. She's got good stewardship. Um, in this case, I think I will actually take the money. So we actually lost prestige on that marriage, but we gained it from when my son got married. Short reign. That's a pretty serious short reign penalty you got there, woman. But it's okay. Well, he's pretty upset with me all of a sudden. Let's see. You are beneath Molly. Yeah, you've got to stay there. Alright, that's fine then. Okay, dude, why don't you go to war or something? Peasant Revolt. My son, the Midas, touched. Uh, yeah, you can marry this homosexual. Sounds good. We'll have fewer problems that way, fewer kids. Now, he's not my heir, so we don't get that royal aid duty thing. And I never did marry my second son. Let's get him a wife, too. More problems, right? Here. We'll marry the two diplomats together. He's managed to sow distrust between Emir Zaid of that emirate and his liege. Good, 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 good. Angry, minus 25. And furious. They both don't like each other as much. Sultan, so Sultan something's opinion of Zaid is at negative 22, although Emir Zaid still really likes him because of the defending versus infidels. Okay, so after they're done defending versus infidels, he'll be down to just 30 opinion. Here's that diplomat that, that he's, uh, hopefully she becomes a gray eminence. We'll have a double gray eminence family. Although that's not who we're going to play as, we get to play as the weak detached priest. Although his stats aren't bad. And he's actually got some pretty good traits. Kind, just, zealous, brave. Is that war over yet? Oh no, my reputation's ruined. Surprising, I, they know that I'm trying to kill this guy. It's a, such a shock, isn't it? <laughs> he's the gatekeeper to the rest of the world. Surprising, I know. Can you believe it? Ah, uh, sure. We'll invite that guy. Sure, you can be kind too, my son. My new wife. She doesn't look very attractive. And yet she is... She is gluttonous, so that, that picture does make sense. Alright, I have managed to sow distrust between the Wali and his liege, Amir Zaid. I don't really care about that. Keep working on the actual liege. The top liege, the sultan. Alright, so there goes that peace between him and his rebellion. So his vassals are probably no longer benefiting from the defending versus infidels bonus. Yeah, this guy is... It's like the only guy that I can actually try to get to, to dislike him. Some mayor. Stop it, son. You're doing it wrong. It's not how you do it. Target the Emir. I think that they should work on that. They should make it more specific. You should be able to target a specific character, not just a random character in the county. Know what I mean? At least that's how I would do it.
Okay, so this is my second-born son. She became a charismatic negotiator. That's not bad. That's pretty good, actually. Go ahead, have her come to court. And I have another son. Salmon. <laughs> We're going to name the next one Bass. And that's about it for the fish that I know of. Carp. Stingray. Stingray's not really along the same class as uh, bass or carp. Uh, let's see. Iowa asks, why do people die? Um, because they are too carefree. <laughs> that backfired. Wonderful technology. What do we got? Military tech. I would really like to get... yeah, military organization, that sounds good. Noble customs. Popular customs. Oh, look at that. It just We just just got level point one, so now we actually probably have enough as is. Yeah, we do. Um, would it really benefit me, then, to do this again? 180% retinues would be... 180% of the base. So where it says 162... 182%, 180% of 162. I don't think I actually need to buy it, because it's not going to get me up to 1,000. But I will hire one free warrior retinue, and then uh, instead of trying to get more military organization, let's go with light infantry and heavy infantry and cavalry. Make sure that they're reinforcing at full speed. Flag him as a looter. Oh, that's right. I was going to loot this guy again, wasn't I? Let's force him to fight. I'm doing a great job with these kids. This guy's 50 now. He's craven. No one seems to want to kill him with me. I might just have to start trying to assassinate him. I mean, it's expensive. Really expensive. 350 gold a shot, but... What else can I spend money on, you know? I can upgrade my holdings, but that doesn't really guarantee we're going to do anything positive. That'll be just barely enough. Plus, it's reinforcing with retinue, so... We're going to go loot this thing again. Let's burn it down. I set him a special interest so I get an alert about myself. <laughs> it's kind of strange. I think it'd be really convenient to have this number right here show up right here. Little tiny percentage. Like, that's really useful. This little, this little morale bar? Nah. You got the morale bar for my men, the morale bar for the castle. Why not just show a percentage? My son who has pneumonia. We'll give him to that guy. He did a good job with my other son, I think. I think I am going to try out going up there. This one's got a lot more defense, so I'll need to, to raise more levy. Oh, look at that. We actually captured a couple children. Three of them. And there's still some loot to be had. Not much. You know. Two gold. He'll arrive on September 24th. It's a good thing we're running. We'll just leave. No one wants to plot with me. This is the guy. Actually, let's do that. Let's send my guy to so descent in La Mancha. He is the spy master. If I can get him to like his liege less, I might be able to get him killed. And then I can bribe him. And so, now what about these kids? He's willing to pay for all of them. Sweet. It's a good catch.
Assuming he has the money for them all. Yeah, he does. Sweet. Okay. I'm just raising my own personal levy. I'm not raising anything else. So I want to keep that vassal opinion perfect. Because we're going to need it later. Rally all these men up here. Now we're going to try to burn this one down. Just going to keep on pestering him. Of course he hates me. Scheming bastard. You're the scheming bastard. See, he's got plus three in my favor. If I could just get his opinion down a bit. His opinion of... His opinion of me and my opinion of him. No, I don't want to know that. I want to know his opinion of his liege. 41. Oh yeah, I could totally get him. I could flip him. Oh god, jeez, oh, we don't need more kids. God. Okay. Now, do I want to spend this 350 gold murdering him? Well, he's got a lot of boys. And very little decadence so they're all young so they're not generating decadence yet but when they come of age they're gonna start causing problems they're all very young look at that girl 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 th four boys so there's no point in assassinating him because if if a kid comes into power actually that's not true if a kid comes into power there definitely would be revolts because the person that would get put in charge is this five-year-old. There would definitely be some factions and stuff. When we have 350 gold, let me see how much the assassination chance is. And then we'll consider it. That might just be the very best thing to spend money on. Okay, we've got 1,600 troops. That's enough to raid this. He's attacking in a holy war for Toledo. So now is a good time to try to burn some stuff down. Although I can't get any gold from anything except for... Oh, wow. Great. He's actually coming with uh, quite a few men, and I'm on the offensive. And uh, we're gonna win. Okay. Mansa Lavernius Arawain becomes... Arawain, Arawain. This becomes Mandi instead of Berber. Good. We won that battle. Good. Now go away. He's got 5,000 men right there. Okay, this is too dangerous. Let's get out of here. Let's wait till he's got his men like way north fighting Navarra. Oh, and now that we have the money, I want to check it out. Let's see what the chances are. 30%! Okay, yeah, here's what we're doing. We're doing it. Alright, before we do, I'm going to wrap this one up here, and in the next video, uh, we'll, we'll think about it further. We'll see if we're going to do it or not. So thanks for watching. See you again soon.